Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of my new palettes from worst to best. I'm saying worst in quotations because I quite like every single one of these palettes I've added to my collection as of late. However, there are some that I like better than others and in today's video, I'm going to give you all of the reasons I gave myself for ranking them in the way <laughs> that I rank them. I have 18 palettes total that I have tried since the last video I uploaded, I basically uploaded a video three months ago, I think it was, where I did a similar ranking with all of the palettes I had tried since the year started. And this is the follow-up to that video. And I'm excited to share with you my ranking. All of these palettes have been listed and linked down below in the description box. And I have discount codes for a lot of these brands. So please check out the description box for all of the links and all of the coupon codes in case you are interested in any of the palettes that we'll be talking about today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. On the 18th spot, I have the palette that I like the least out of all of the palettes in front of me. However, it's not a palette that I hate by any means. It just could have been better, you know? And that is the Lost in Wonderland palette by Colourpop. This is a really cute spring palette. I quite like the shimmers that they put in here. There's nothing overly special about them, but I like that they definitely are very springy. This one in the middle is even a little bit glittery and they pair really nicely with the soft matte that this palette has, like that soft purpley pink there, the peachy shade. The palette is definitely very cute. However, I don't think that the quality of the shadows is like outstanding by any means. And I don't love the bottom side of the color story. I feel like these three shades feel out of place when it comes to the overall color story of this palette. To me, they could have just left it right here because when it comes to mixing these darker shades with the lighter, more pastel shades in this palette, I feel like the looks don't come out super cohesive. I actually like the idea of this palette without those darker shades better. Like I said, not a terrible palette. It's cute. I like that. If you're an Alice in Wonderland fan, I would actually recommend it for you because you're going to enjoy it a lot. However, I do think that the color story could have been even better and the formula could have been better as well. Okay, I just changed my lipstick real quick because the previous one wasn't matching the rest of my vibe today. This is linked down below if you're interested. Palette number 17 out of 18 that I tried is going to be this one right here from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Okavango Safari palette from Nomad. I like this palette. To be honest with you, it is a cute palette. The formulas are great, but there isn't anything outstanding in my opinion in regards to this palette. And I feel like every single palette in front of this one has outstanding qualities. The shimmers in this palette are cute, but there is nothing overly exciting about them. They're just like regular shimmers. The bar is high as far as eyeshadow quality. I think that that's the main issue. The matte shades in this palette are also really, really cute. Every single one of the shades is nice and pigmented. The color story is pretty. It's neutral. It has these really stunning olive greens right here. But like I said, there's just nothing outstanding to me when it comes to this one. There is no dual chromes. There is no sparkle. There isn't anything that gets me super excited about it. And so for that reason and that reason only, this is my palette at number 17. Anyways, at number 16, I have this one right here. This is the Too Faced Italian Spritz palette. It feels like ages ago that I tried this but it was right before that other rankings video that I did this palette right here has a beautiful color story it makes me excited that Too Faced actually stepped up their formula with this one it's not only called Italian Spritz it was also made in Italy and this formula is definitely noticeably better than what Too Faced has been giving us for the past several releases the shimmers aren't like out of this world extraordinary, but you can actually see that they have a good amount of pigment in them. The color story is a beautiful color story for the spring season. The shades are nice and pigmented. They blend nicely. They are buttery and it makes me very happy that Too Faced is listening. Hopefully they'll continue to release palettes that are this 
better quality. None of the shimmers are overly outstanding in comparison to some of the shimmers I'm about to show you next. However, it is a beautiful color story with creamy mattes and pigmented shadows all throughout so I'm very happy with it and you can create some really beautiful spring and summer looks with this one in particular I am a very big fan of this matte shade right here I loved it at number 15 I actually have the Natasha Denona face and eyes love palette which is this beautiful thing right here. This one, of course, has Natasha's amazing eyeshadow formula. I told you guys the bar is high. This is number 15 right here, come on. <laughs> um, it has Natasha's amazing eyeshadow formula. The mattes are super creamy, super buttery, super blendable. I have a Natasha Denona discount code now that I'm very excited about. So you can save 15% off everything on the Natasha Denona website with code PATTY15. Take a look at those matte shades right there. And this palette does have a very, very outstanding shimmer shade right here. Natasha made this absolutely beautiful, pigmented, luscious, metallic, duochrome pink shade that totally steals the show when it comes to this palette. Of course, it's a beautiful match for any of the matte shades that the palette has in it. Besides that, this palette is extremely convenient because you can take it with you on the go, travel with it. It is very travel friendly, a very sturdy, beautiful packaging. I've traveled with not this one, but the previous versions of this palette and not a shade has ever broken. Everything's always super neat. And I even really enjoy the blush and highlighter shades that come in this one. In today's video, I'm only judging it for the eyeshadow capability abilities though and of course I love these formulas I love the color story it's not a color story that we haven't seen before but at this point we've seen most color stories <laughs> been done already this palette is beautiful I'm glad I picked it up and whenever I travel anywhere it'll probably be coming with me if we were ranking these palettes on level of convenience this one would be much higher however we are ranking on level of excitement and I am more excited about some of the palettes we have coming next at number 14, we have a Pat McGrath palette. The palette is this one right here. This is the mini eyeshadow palette in Sublime Smoke from Pat McGrath. It is a beautiful mini palette, extremely travel friendly. It doesn't get much smaller than this one. You have six beautiful shades in this palette that have Pat McGrath's original beautiful Italian formula. The mattes are creamy, they are pigmented, they are blendable, and even though this palette doesn't have any of Pat's special shades, you can create some really stunning bronzy looks with this one. It has a beautiful color story, perfect for year round, but especially if you want to use it like during the summertime, I feel like you can definitely get away with creating different looks with this one. I love that she has a light shade in case you wanna keep it super casual or you can smoke things up and make it much more glamorous by intensifying your look with the darker shades the palette has. This palette isn't only extremely travel friendly but also good for any skin color because these shades will look absolutely stunning on everyone. And so I love it. It's also Pat McGrath's most convenient pricing and a really good way to try the Pat McGrath formula if you've never wanted to splurge on her bigger, much more pricier palettes. At number 13, I have a Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette. It is this one right here called Into the Night. First of all, I love the packaging of palettes like this one. I love the leathery exteriors and the stitches. This palette has 12 different shades and it has a really beautiful colorful color story now my favorite thing about this palette is that it truly has some really special looking shimmers these shimmers are extremely pigmented they have some really beautiful shift in them some of these are duochromes and they are very sparkly very pigmented very creamy did i say creamy already very attention grabbing for sure Take a look how beautiful these shades swatch right here. But not only that, this palette also has some absolutely stunning matte shades as well. Take a look right there at how pigmented these are. 
Now, the only reason this one doesn't rank any higher in my collection is because even though I love shades like these and I love playing with color, um, and these are shades that I can incorporate into eyeshadow looks and create some really stunning looks with, I feel like I actually kind of struggled creating a look with this palette that I love because for some reason, not all of these shades go together for me. I'm not overly colorful when it comes to my makeup and so sometimes I feel like some colors clash. And I feel like every time I play with this palette, I come out looking very bold. I always create a very bold eyeshadow look with this one. And unless I dip into another palette, I can't necessarily tone it down because each and every one of these shades is so bold. With that said, they are really beautiful shades and if you are a color shadow lover, you would absolutely love this one. I believe I have a discount code with Laminatrix Cosmetics now. And if I chose the one I usually go for, it is Patty 10. So if you are interested in this or anything else Laminatrix Cosmetics, you can now shop using my discount code. On the 12th spot, I have a palette from a brand that is brand new to me. This is my first time trying Unearthly Cosmetics and I'm super happy that I got to try it for the first time with their Heather Austin collaboration palette. Take a look right here at this absolutely stunning color story. This palette has some really beautiful duochrome shimmer shades as well as the previous one I showed you. These are a little bit less bold, a bit more up my alley, if you will, which gives this palette a few extra points. Take a look at how beautiful the shifts in those shades are right there. When it comes to the matte shades, they are a little bit bolder, um, but I discovered when playing with this one that these matte shades are incredibly soft and buttery and blendable like i had the easiest time blending the blue with the pink and creating a purple shade with it this color right here is really beautiful to soften any of these shades up right here and so i overall had a really fantastic time playing with this palette this one is a bit more me however it is in the 12th spot because it's still a really colorful very bold palette and so i don't feel as comfortable with this one as with a lot of the others that i'm going to show you next at number 11 i have a beautiful beautiful palette from ace beauté and that is the begonia palette right here now the color story of this one is incredible and the best thing out of the Ace Beauté palettes, um, I have two, I have another one coming up in this video, the best thing, the thing that makes me the most excited about them is that they are extremely affordable. So these are, I think, formulas that you can compare with some of the palettes I just talked about, but their price is around half as a lot of the palettes that I just talked about. So to get these formulas right here as creamy, I mean, you're looking at the swatches, as creamy as they are, with the beautiful pigmented shimmer, some of them have duochromes in them. And to get a palette like that at $20, I find it incredible. I think that it is fantastic. If you're on a budget, Ace Beauté has some really stunning palettes that you can take a look at and that I'm sure a lot of you are going to love. I mixed this matte with a shimmer by mistake because this is the finger where I grabbed this one with, but you can see how creamy and pigmented these matte shades are and the shimmers even more. The shimmers feel like butter. And so to have this very high quality shadow and this absolutely stunning color story right here for $20 I think is a steal. In fact, it's even cheaper because I think I also have a discount code with them now, probably Patty 10 Again, check the description box for the right discount codes in case I make any mistakes. And you also save 10% off of Ace Beauté, which like I said, their palettes are already a steal, so obviously I highly recommend it. And this is palette number 11. We've gotten to the top 10 palettes and my number 10 palette is also from Ace Beauté. And it is this one right here, the Kala palette. 
this is part of like this same collection they released four palettes total and when they reached out to me i asked them for the two that i liked most and i'm so glad that i did take a look right here at the color story of the palette Kala. I absolutely love this one because the shimmers again are incredibly buttery but also it is a much more neutral color story so I know that a lot of you are much more comfortable using colors like this one and you can get some stunning looks with these shades. Here are the shimmers. I know they are amazing. <laughs> And here are some of the matte shades from this Kala palette. Very pigmented, very blendable, and they go so, so well with the beautiful metallic shades that this palette has. And like I said, less than $20 um, for this one as well. So this was palette number 10. At number 9, we have this one right here from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the other Nomad palette that I was telling you about. This is their Royal Europe palette right here. And this palette is beautiful. It has really stunning jewel tone shades. And it has five stunning multi-chrome shades as well. Just take a look at the finger swatches right there and the shift that the shades have. I feel like with the three lights that I have in front of me, you can never see the shift of multi-chrome shadows as well as I can when I'm looking at with a different light, I guess. I think you might be able to see the shifts better with me holding this light up. Like this one here definitely has purple in there. I'm doing the most, but I'm just trying to show you, okay? So take a look at how beautiful and creamy these shimmers are. This one right here is the last one, which looks kind of pink purple to you, but it has the strongest gold shift to it. And even though I've made the argument of putting some bold, colorful palettes behind and this one is pretty bold and colorful for some reason i feel very confident with this bold colorful palette right here and the reason is that the color stories are pretty much made in the palette for you like you have a light matte for the crease a darker matte to intensify your eye with and then a duochrome shimmer shade for the center of the eyelid like the looks are pretty much made for you in this palette which makes it very easy to create looks you don't have to think about it too hard and all of these shades are not super bright even though it is a colorful palette i find the mattes to look a bit more muted which i find suits my skin tone better and overall it is just easier for me to play with shades like this one i believe when i reviewed this i did three different looks with this palette if you're interested in some looks with it but it is a stunning palette. I know I didn't swatch the matte shades, but the matte shades in this one, very creamy, very pigmented. They blend out very easily. And so that was palette number nine. At number eight, I have an Adept Cosmetics palette. It is the Seahorse palette right here. And this is an all shimmer palette. It has the most beautiful pastel duochrome multi-chrome type shades with lots and lots of sparkle this is definitely a palette of pops if you will like it's a palette of shades that are going to be great on the inner corner or the center of the eyelid it doesn't have any matte shades it is definitely a palette that i would use in combination with a different palette in my collection but i feel like they released it at the perfect time right in the middle of the spring season with summer coming up this right here is giving all of the fairy vibes and of course adept cosmetics has incredible incredible shimmer formulas so i am going to show you some of my favorite shades in this one take a look right here this palette is definitely a pretty penny However, if you were to get these shades individually, you're actually saving money <laughs> because multi-chrome indie brand shimmers can get pricey if you get them individually. So, you know, it's obviously up to you whether or not you think you would get a lot of use out of shades like this one. I find it to be a really beautiful palette and I love the formula of Adept Cosmetics shimmer shades. And so this palette makes me very happy, it makes me very excited. And so that is the reason that it is my number eight palette. At number seven, we have a palette that I tried very, very recently, and that is this Sigma and Angela Bright palette right here. 
take a look at the absolutely stunning color story that Angela Bride created. Now, while Sigma shadows are beautiful and they perform well, I don't think that their formula is outstanding, especially when you compare it with the outstanding formulas of some of the palettes that we've been talking about. However, what makes this palette truly special to me it's its color story and the fact that I think that Angela truly thought of everything when it comes to the colors that she chose to put in her collaboration palette. This palette has incredible nude neutral shades for the nude neutral lovers. If you are into more colorful looks, she has some really stunning colors in this palette for you. If you're more so into some pastel shades, you have a couple of lighter shades that you can use in this palette to create those looks. I love this shade Bare right here because this shade makes this palette very versatile. If you add a very intense color to the crease of your eye, Bare is the perfect shade to combine with those very colorful mattes to make them go a little bit lighter on the crease to soften them if you will. I love the curation of colors in this Sigma palette. I feel like Angela did a fantastic job and so this is palette number seven here. At number six we have a new palette from Pat McGrath and that is this one right here. This is the Passion Fleur eyeshadow quad from Mother, her latest release and I am obsessed with this matte shade right here. This is definitely my favorite color in this palette. It is creamy, it is blendable, it is so versatile, like you can make it blend out into the perfect crease transition-y type of shade. I do wish they would have given us a sparkly shimmer in this palette. It's definitely missed for sure. However, when I played with this palette, I did really like the color story. I did a bit of a gradient look with the shimmer shades and this one on the outer corner and it came out so freaking beautiful. Even though the shimmers are not the most sparkly, I did feel like they were very attention grabbing and this color story in particular, I felt made my eyes stand out. So I loved it. I might be a little bit impartial when it comes to pads. I know that this is an expensive palette, especially because it only has four shades, but I am a little bit Pat McGrath obsessed, I must admit. And so since I am ranking in level of excitement and Pat McGrath makes me very excited, this is my number six spot. <laughs> I can't forget to mention that I also really, really love the packaging of this one. Super pretty. Moving on to the last five palettes out of 18 that I've tried in the last few months. And at number five, we also have a Pat McGrath quad. And that is this one right here. This is the Divine Bronze Luxe Quad in Venusian Sunrise. This one has two mattes and two shimmers, and this one does have a very sparkly shade, which I am very happy about. I love the mattes in this palette. I usually love Pat's mattes because they are very pigmented, they are very buttery, they blend extremely, extremely easily. And you can diffuse even her darkest mattes to the lightest shades, which I find magical. Besides that, in this palette, we have this incredible gold shimmer shade that has the best sparkle and this perfect inner corner color right here. Just take a look at that sparkly gold shade right there. It makes all of the difference in this palette, especially in combination with the rest of this color story. I remember that I tried this Pat McGrath palette around when the Sephora VIB sale was going on, which was the middle of April. And once I tried it, I couldn't put it down. I couldn't stop using it. I did three different videos around that time. And in each of those videos I was wearing this palette right here because I truly love it. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's versatile, it's travel friendly, it's sturdy, it's luxurious, and it makes me very happy. So this right here is number five. <laughs> At number four, we have a palette from Odin's Eye, and that is this one right here, the Stone and Rock palette, which was one of their latest releases. This palette has a really, really stunning olive color story, but they combined their olive shades with some warm browns, some dark shades to deepen up things with, and they have some really special shimmers in this palette. So I'm gonna swatch some shimmers and some mattes so you can see kind of 
why this palette is so special take a look at oh take a look at how creamy and buttery and pigmented these shades are i just swatched three shimmers and a multi-chrome this one has a really strong blue shift but as per usual the camera doesn't want to show it um, you'll have to take my word for it. You can kind of see it when I turn it really far away. Anyways, not only are these shimmers spectacular, but the palette also has some really stunning matte shades that you can accompany these shimmers with. And something that I hadn't seen in a palette in a long time that I very much appreciated was this matte white shade right here. It's super creamy, super pigmented, and you can use the white matte shade to diffuse any of these shades to perfection. If you mix any of these greens with the white, you can create some really stunning transition-y type shades for the crease to diffuse the darker colors with, which for me was very helpful because I've been in a very ethereal, pastel, very like I looks type of mood <laughs> lately and so that white shade being in this palette made me experiment with creating very light looks that still had a lot of sparkle in them and I ended up really loving the result. So for all of those reasons this right here is my fourth favorite palette. At number three we have a palette that has a kind of similar color story to what I just showed you but not really because it is much warmer in my opinion and that is the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. This palette was unexpected to say the least, especially because it came out in the middle of spring and summer, and in my opinion, this is a very full palette. However, the quality of these shades is beautiful, and Natasha Denona gave us some spectacular metallic shimmers in this color story that I very much appreciate because I have been asking Natasha to put metallic shimmer glimmer shades in her midi palettes since the midi palettes started coming out basically. <laughs> she always gave us some really beautiful color stories with some regular ass shimmers, okay? And I like my metallic shades, I like my sparkles, and so I'm super, super happy that she finally went for it and that she gave us what we wanted. Or at least what I wanted, I'm speaking for myself here. But I know that a lot of you love metallic shades and shimmer shades like me, so I know that a lot of you were also very happy about that. Let me swatch some of the mattes. This shade, Camu Camu right here, might be one of my favorite colors that she put in this palette. It is so unique, so bright, so pigmented for how much of a light shade it is. I thought it was going to be less pigmented than it is, but it shows up beautiful on the eyes. So take a look right there at the different kind of tones of olives, how they go from warm to cool tone and how they all go really, really well with the shimmer shades that this palette has in it. I not only did a review video with two looks with this Natasha Denona palette, but I followed that up with a five looks one palette video as well so that you guys can have as much inspiration as I can give you to play with your Natasha Denona palette. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have a discount code with Natasha Denona now, which is one of the most exciting things that has happened to me in my YouTube career. <laughs> it's that big of a deal for me that I am recognized um, as a creator by one of my favorite brands. Anyways, the code is PATTY15 and you can save 15% off of anything on the Natasha Denona website with my discount code. <laughs> the top two palettes I am very unsure about because I know that they are my top two palettes but I truly don't know if I can tell you which one I like better than the other. So I'm going to give you the ranking that I chose today, but I'm honestly not sure. And I feel like tomorrow I could wake up and think that I should have switched them because I truly love both of these palettes so freaking much and I cannot pick a favorite. So at number two, I put my Anastasia Cosmos palette right here. This palette is absolute perfection. And not only that, I feel like this is the best Anastasia palette that has launched in a long time. I also love that she started doing duochrome shades and shades that look really nice and sparkly 
on the eyes because I feel like even though she's done sparkle before, she definitely never gave us duochrome shades in the past, which I very much appreciate. The shimmers in this palette are really, really beautiful, very ethereal, perfect for this time of year. Just take a look right there at how beautiful they are. I love that they are nice and diverse too. You can create different looks by just changing the shimmer shade that you're using. And this is, by the way, the palette I've been using all throughout this video. I think I have four shades on right now. I have two mattes and two shimmers. I have the blue shimmer, I have this shimmer in the center, and then the matte shades that I chose for this look are Comet and Eclipse. Comet on my crease, Eclipse to darken it up, and I loved the way that this eye look came out. And I truly loved every single eye look that I created with this Anastasia Cosmos palette. Just like with the Yuka palette, not only did I review this one and give you two looks in my review video, but I also created a five looks one palette with this palette that was really, really fun to do and very easy too, because I feel like for a 12 pan palette, this one is very, very versatile. Take a look at the matte shades right there. Very soft and buttery and blendable and pigmented in my opinion. This Cosmos palette knocked it out of the park for me and I truly enjoy reaching for it so freaking much. I just created seven looks for you with this palette and I did my makeup today and this was the palette that I wanted to reach for so that must tell you how much I truly love it. So drum roll please for the one that I chose as my number one today. <laughs> <laughs> the palette that I chose as my most favorite palette that I have tried recently is this stunning palette right here from Odin's Eye, the Jewels and Gem palette. This palette has a beautiful color story that has ethereal shades that you can also kind of darken up a little bit. It has some really, really stunning shimmers. It has some really beautiful soft mattes. And it also has a color story that has a lot of diversity within it because you can create really soft coral looks with this one, really soft pinky looks with this one, or you can go full on dark blue with it as well. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Take a look right here at how some of these shimmer shades swatch, how pigmented and beautiful and buttery they are. These shimmers are super ethereal and truly incredible in my opinion. And then where you get a lot of diversity with this one is in the matte shades because you can go coral or you can go pink purpley the way you see right there. Or you can go full on dark purple. You can go blue right here or even teal with this one down here. The mattes in this palette are pretty versatile in my opinion. And I also really love that they're all kind of muted colors that you can combine with these really stunning sparkles right here. And they create some stunning eyeshadow looks. There's even this sage green down here that I didn't even swatch. I left the swatches of the Anastasia one on this side so you can kind of compare my top two color stories and see which one you would like better for yourself if you're interested in any of these. I'm really surprised that the Odin's Eye palette hasn't sold out yet. At least it hasn't at the moment that I'm filming this video. This is the cheaper of the two, which is insane. And I do have a discount code with Odin's Eye, so you can save 10% off with my code Patty 10, I find that this palette is absolutely incredible. Also, looking at the swatches side by side, I feel like I made the right decision. I love Odin's Eyes formulas. I find them incredible. And I really hope that this video was fun to watch and also that it was helpful to you if you've been wondering which new palette to pick up. This right here is my ranking. If you liked today's video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to check out the description box for all of the links and all of the discount codes on everything that I talked about today. If you like videos like this one, please don't leave without subscribing to my channel. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.